Greetings for the truck. Today I want to remind you of how important and powerful it is to know who you are. To explore and accept your likes and dislikes and change those that you want to change about yourself. Yourself being the key part. We're not here to change how others perceive the world or even themselves. It's strictly an inside job. But with that inside job comes a large amount of freedom, patience, grace, discernment. You name it, it's there for the taking. Also in doing so, you become more comfortable with yourself. And I believe this to be vital along our journey because it's promoted, well, at least on my journey, it's promoted to do the most you can to make others comfortable. And over time, that turned into a tendency that people please, which left me highly uncomfortable. But when I began to take my power back, sit back and accept the things about myself that I can change, that I do want to change, and that I do not want to change, I began to see that going out of my way to make others comfortable was the root of many of my issues. So in taking my power back, Priority number one was to make sure no matter the situation, I remain comfortable. That doesn't mean uh, forcing my energy or my power onto anybody. No, it's the complete opposite. Focus on the power on myself, finding comfort within my own spirit. And in doing so, I allow others to do the same. Ironically, what I began to notice was the more comfortable I was within myself, and this still happens to this day, the more I show up comfortable within myself, you begin to see the lack of comfort in others. This can be displayed in many ways. This could be displayed in a... Uh, the way others may uh, treat you seemingly. This could be displayed in the way others may avoid you. And also the opposite, it could be displayed at how many people come to you, whether it be a stranger or not, whether it be them pouring out their life to you or talking to you about certain situations in life that they're struggling with, and they don't have to know you. Sometimes these things just happen. But the more I became comfortable myself and accepted who I was, who I am, I began to see the shift in the interactions that I have with people. Now, before when I was caught up in people pleasing, I would have a lot more people engaged with approach. But the more I stepped into my own power, the more I realized that I would repel certain energies and certain types of people. And with my before thought process, I would think that there was something wrong with me. But what I began to realize as I stepped into my own power was that it's not that it's a right or wrong thing, but me stepping within my power admits the energy at times that I'm not willing to give any of that away. And I began to see a subtle difference in how certain people approach me. That's fine. I'm not complaining about it at all because I'm comfortable with them on skin. But then I begin to pay attention to interactions of others and how people outside of me may interact with each other. And at times you can see a power dynamic or a shift happening, even if they don't realize it. Because as all humans on this planet do, we can get stuck in our ways, in our human ways. This is not me being judgmental at all, saying that I've figured out anything. I'm simply sharing what truly experience that I've had. Certain changes that I've made and how it has made an impact on my life for the better. You see, it no longer being in the energy of worried about making everybody else comfortable, but prioritizing my own comfort first. I could also see the things that gave me comfort that I didn't really need or weren't really serving me. They were simply masking a, a deeper 
I wouldn't say trauma, but they were masking a deeper issue that I didn't want to acknowledge. So when reviewing some of those things, which is it's not required at all, but for me on my journey, I had to look back to see where I was headed. And I began to make the opposite choices. So I could change the direction of where I was headed. And it's a beautiful thing. I, I share this with you in all vulnerability because I wish I'd have heard that. I wish somebody would have spoken to me about these things. But in hindsight, it's a blessing. Because not only had that, not only have I had the experience of going through that and it will continuously evolve. But because I didn't have somebody there to break certain things down to me, I was forced in a certain direction to learn through experience. Outcome is beautiful. Not how I pictured it, but beautiful just to say. Because in not having that person for me, I realized how important it is to be that for someone else. Now I say many times, if I could reach one person with any of these messages, I'm very grateful. Very grateful. Because I could share certain elements of my journey. Or I could share certain ideas, certain beliefs that may help somebody be introduced to new possibilities, to new outcomes for their life. It's not about being perfect. It's about being true to who you are. It's not about the overused uh, idea of being authentic, your authentic self. No, it's about being you and nobody else. It's about trusting in that, moving forward in that light and allowing yourself to be open to the evolution that inherently comes with every choice that we make. So continue to move, continue to progress along the journey, but trust in your power and know that your comfort is priority. And the only person accountable for that is you, nobody else. Until next time, be blessed. And please, don't forget to smile.